Hi, this is Charlie Setterfield. We're going to continue our work in Revit and now we're actually going to start creating an office building that we can then export as a GBXML file and send that off to Green Building Studio and do some cloud-based analysis of our office building and see how much energy it's using, water it's using, um, gas, electricity, all that kind of good stuff. So um, I'm going to go back to the very beginning of Revit here. So I'm back at the original gray screen. We may have moved beyond this as you were doing your um, introduction to the user interface. But I'm back to my gray screen and you can get there by um, either restarting Revit or if you just minimize the windows and close those windows, your view windows, you'll get back to your gray screen as well. So I'm going to start a new project and remember the way that I do that is I go up to the um, purple R which is the program button click that once to get the drop down and once I have my drop down menu I'm going to slide down to the new uh, command there but I'm not going to press my mouse yet I'm going to slide over to project to create a new project and then I'm going to press the mouse button that opens up my new project um, dialog box here I'm going to click the browse button again and this time I'm going to go and select a commercial default template to use for this project. So commercial default, click that once and then click the open button. Takes me back to the new project dialog box. It has now changed the template that I've got in this um, destination window here. Uh, the project radio button is still selected which is fine and now I'm just going to click OK and let Revit go ahead and start that blank project for me. It'll take just a minute while it does that. And once we have everything in place, we're up and ready to go. So here we are. Uh, we're on our level one plan. Notice this time, since we're in a commercial template instead of a residential template, some of the wording is a little bit different. So in residential, it said first floor. In commercial, it says level one. So same idea, though. So what I'm going to do is just create some walls here and um, add some levels so that we've got uh, two or three floors that we can use in this office building for analysis purposes. So I'm on my home tab up here at the top and I've got my ribbon. I'm going to click the drop down underneath wall here and I'm going to select wall. That changes my properties dialog box here to be uh, basic wall, generic 8 inch. And I'm not very excited with that one. I want to change that wall type to make it a little bit more complex. And so I'm going to click on that drop down and I'm going to click on um, this one EIFS on metal stud. EIFS stands for Exterior Insulation and Finish System, uh, maybe known by a brand name as Drive It something like that. It looks like stucco. Um, so I'm going to click on that and that's going to change my wall type and so now I've got basic wall exterior EFAS on metal stud and now I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to uh, just click here in this corner and get my mouse started in a direction and I can be real precise and just draw to a certain length or I can use my keyboard and just enter a dimension say 100 and then click enter and now I've got a hundred foot long wall. Uh, turn my mouse and get it going in a different direction. And I'm going to make this one, I don't know, 60 feet I guess. And click enter. And then once I've got those two established then I can use my inference lines, my blue inference line that just popped up there saying that I've reached the end of a related wall and just finish drawing my uh, footprint that way. So now I've got four walls no problem. I'm going to click escape a couple of times to get out of that place wall command. So now I've got my footprint defined and so now I'm going to take a look at this in three dimensions. It's easier sometimes to picture what's going on if we go ahead and select 3D. So up on my uh, quick access toolbar up here at the very top I've got a default 3D view option. Looks like a little house in three dimensions. So I'm going to click on that little house and that takes me to a 3D view. Um, not very descriptive, but there are my walls. I'm going to slide down to the bottom of my view window here and I'm going to change the visual style from hidden line to shaded. And that's going to give me a gray box, which is fine. That's what I expected to see. And so I, now I know that I've got my four walls. Um, what I want to do next, I want to make a three-story office building. 
so I'm going to control the levels. Uh, everything in Revit is related to the level that it is placed on. So over in your project browser, if you would just click on that and then slide down to elevations, and I'm going to go and look at the north elevation, so I double click on north, and here's my north elevation. I'm going to zoom in on uh, these level lines that are over here. And so as I place things, they're constrained to a level. And so if I'm drawing on level one and I place furniture, it's going to assume that I want it to be on level one, not on the roof level. Um, makes sense, right? So what I'm going to do is add a couple of levels in here. So I'm on my home tab up here at the top. And over here toward the right hand end, I've got a pane here that's called datum. And datum is just a way of organizing things. And so I'm going to click on level because I want more levels. I want ultimately to end up with a level two, a level three, and a roof. So I'm going to place the levels first, and then I'm going to play around with the dimensions to get them to be at the elevation that I want them to be at. So I click on level and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to just draw a level line in here from left to right and I'm going to draw another one left to right and then I'm going to zoom in again and these are all way too close together I'm going to click escape a couple of times to get out of that place level command and so I'm going to just rearrange these guys a little bit so